Happy Gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Lips Nursery. We've got Katie on camera. Say hello, Katie. Hello. And today, I'd like to show you what to do with your perennial plants. Now, I know that a lot of people have been told this. People have um, informed me that during lockdown, a lot of people have become interested in gardening. You're stuck out in your garden. We've had quite a nice summer in the UK. People have been out there looking at it and thinking, um, mm, what are we going to do with this? Don't astroturf it. Please don't. There's enough plastic in the oceans, let alone on the ground. <sighs> That's another rant. Anyway, a lot of people will have just started planting out their gardens. Now, some of the plants you may have bought will be perennial plants. Now, perennial plants come back year after year after year, but some of them will die completely back to the ground for the winter. And so you might be looking at some beautiful things that you brought in the summer or in the spring that are now dying back and looking like they're, they're going forever. They're not. If they're perennial, they will be coming back. Now I've got a couple of perennial plants here. One of them is a herbaceous, well they're both herbaceous perennials. A herbaceous perennial is a plant that comes back each year that has no woodiness to it. Like a tree is a perennial. Let's go on for tree. So a tree is perennial and um, it loses all its leaves in winter and those leaves come back again in spring, but there's a big wood bit to it. So that's not a herbaceous plant. A herbaceous plant is one that is made of, like this stuff, just leaves. Now some herbaceous plants are evergreen, like this one. And some are deciduous, like this one. So that means that all of these leaves are going to be lost. This is a geranium. It's a hardy geranium, not to be confused with the pelagoniums that we get from the shops um, in the springtime, which are delightful in themselves, but they're not hardy outside. Now this one here, as you can see, look, the leaves look like they're just dying back and, um, you know, there we are. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tidy it up by just chopping it back like this. Now if you're new to gardening, you'd be thinking, no, this is not the good thing to do, but no, it is, it's all right. Get the moss off the top if it's in a pot. You know, you get your moss off the top like that. And uh, if they're in the ground and the leaves are looking tatty, just tidy them up, just chop them back and uh, maybe put a little stick in the ground so you know where it's going to be coming up. And in the spring, if it's a perennial plant and it's herbaceous and it dies back, it's deciduous, it will start springing up again in the spring. Is that why they call it spring? No, it must, it's not, is it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, this one in a pot. Now, if you're growing plants in pots, you want to give them some food. The pot itself is finite. And so in the ground, water can sort of bring nutrients in and, uh, and stuff like that. Everything's moving about under the ground a little bit with insects and worms and all that sort of stuff. But in a pot, it's not. And once the plant has exhausted the food supply in that pot, it needs some more. Now, if you've got a perennial plant in a pot, you want it to have a soil-based compost. You do not want it to be planted in multi-purpose stuff that you get from the garden centre. That's um, It's good for annual stuff, but it's not good for stuff that comes back year after year. You want to get some soil in there. It's what the ground is made of. It's what these plants are used to. But this one here, he's in a soil-based compost. He's died back like that. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a top dressing of some fertiliser. And it's a slow-release fertiliser. I've got some Q4 here, which is an organic Q4 fertiliser, which is uh, a mixture of everything it needs. And look at the instructions, they're all different, but I'm going to sprinkle a little bit around there. You don't want to get it too much on the actual plant growth itself. And I'm also going to top dress this with a little bit of just soil and sand. There we go. So I've got some food in there, and I've just given it a bit of a tidy up with a bit of soil and sand on top. Now that is a, a perennial plant, so it will come back up again next year, but for the winter it will just look like a dead pot, but it's not a dead pot. And if it's in your ground it will have died away, but it's not dead. It's all there in the roots, all ready to come back next year. Now I've got another perennial plant here that I'd just like to show you what to do with. This is an evergreen perennial plant, so it's a type of thistle that I grow here. It's a Himalayan thistle, beautiful, beautiful pink and white flowers. They look like marshmallow. They're white, until they've been pollinated by a, an insect and then they turn pink. Clever stuff. But this one, all we need to do with this is just cut off the seed pod here. This was the flower stalk. I'm just going to cut this off right the, the base like that. See? There we go. Oh, he's gone. And then we're just going to go around any leaves that look a bit tatty. These are quite spiky. And we're going to get rid of those. It's just a question of tidying up a little bit. Don't worry about pulling leaves off if they're dead. 
You know, this is what they're meant to do. You don't want them sitting, especially in the pots. You don't want them sitting in the pots and rotting because that will start mould growing. It will start all sorts of other things going. So you want to keep your pot nice and clean. So there we are. I've tidied that up. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to give it a little bit of top dressing of food. So I've got some slow-release fertiliser here. I'm going to sprinkle around the edge like that. And this will just keep the pot topped up with all those essential um, minerals and vitamins that the plants need. I'm going to get a little bit of top dressing of uh, soil just to bring up. And always remembering, always remembering, crikey, I'm going on a bit here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, it's all right, I'll be over in a minute, I'll be over in a minute. And always remembering, Katie, if you can spin in, to leave a bit, once you put your top dressing on, always leave to, remember to leave a gap between your, the soil and, your, um, and the top of your pot so that when you water it, the water will be able to sit on the top and soak its way in rather than just running off and it will actually get down to those roots. Um, and there we go. I'm just going to leave these. The, both of them are just going to be left outside for the winter. Um, and uh, in the spring, that will start sprouting back up again. And this will start putting on some new growth. And they'll be absolutely fine. So if you have got some perennial plants in your garden, um, don't worry. They're not dying. They will come back again next year. This has been Robbie Phoenix down at Stinky Ditch Nursery with Katie on camera showing you how to sort out your perennial plants um, at the end of the year in the autumn. Thank you for watching.